Hey everyone, Clarky Shy here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are doing Zombies Replay Episode Eight. The map is Ascension. Today's guest we have Caleb Ross. Hello everyone. My name is Caleb Cabo Ross, Caleb Roos, whatever the hell you want to call me. Okay. So Caleb will be joining me today on Zombies Replay. His favorite map, well, it's not specifically, is Ascension. So I thought it would only be appropriate if we can bring Caleb on. If you guys don't know the series on how it's worked, it's inspired by this map plays the Zombies Retrospective series and Tim Hansen's Zombies Map Review series. So basically, we go through every map, we uh, give a review on it, we're doing throughout and non throughout, we're doing them all in order. This episode on episode 8 is Ascension, and this time we have Caleb. We'll be playing the map for 30 minutes. I have some questions up to ask Caleb, and I'll be answering them myself. And yeah, that's basically the gist of it, playing the map for 30 minutes by. Uh, asking questions and yeah, if you haven't seen the rest of the episodes, go check them out. And I highly recommend you do check out Caleb Boss in the description, his Twitch and YouTube. He makes a lot of good streams, lots of good videos. So yeah, go check them out in the description, guys. And best shout out to Caleb. Alright, Caleb, you ready to go? Ready. Okay, so as soon as uh, we see our guns and everything, I will start the timer. The five minutes will be going and I will be asking the questions. You can go on for as long as you want, Caleb. Just be honest. Really, really. Who should I team up? Caleb, it's 4 player. Oh, play 4 players right now? No, Caleb, no, no, this Easter egg is 4 player. I know. So, how should we do the Easter egg? Go until you get to the button. Okay. <laughs> 30 minute timer has started. I'm now going to ask questions and let's go into it. Okay. So, 30 minute timer has started. Caleb. I am going to ask, what was your first personal experience with Ascension on, like, what, what did you first feel when you first played Ascension? So, my first personal memory about this game was actually, no, this is kind of funny, uh, I remember this so vividly, but I also don't remember it so vividly, but that was my first ever memory. I know it's Ascension now, but when my brother actually did, Back in the day, my friend and I kind of didn't play like, you know, like, 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 game. And then they looked at me play. I still played it behind the back when I went out. But I remember one night waking up from a nap or something. But I woke up and I came out and said, He's on my PlayStation and I woke up and I was on my PS3. And my brother was playing Rock 2 and he talked to his wife. And he actually was playing Ascension because I was in the middle of the game and he was Ascension on me. My brother was complaining about having to learn a whole new map and figure out what he was doing. And it's kind of funny because my brother was right I remember vividly he was in this courtyard. And I remember seeing things in the courtyard and the doors and stuff. And I remember like, oh, this map is really cool. And I remember seeing the courtyard and being like, oh, yeah, look at that. This map is really cool. I don't know why I remember that. And I remember specifically that it was just so vivid. <laughs> Damn, okay, interesting. So, what happened for me, like, um, obviously I was in the middle of playing Kino 5 for some sort of game at the time. Um, when it came to Ascension, um, I was pumped to go on a new map, it looked cool. Uh, it looked I, as much as I do love Ascension, like my first experience, oh this looks blind, but I was right, I was right. And um, I saw like you could fly around in Lunar Landers and stuff, heck I don't even know what they are, and curse devices, but the dolls, it was all cool, I, I really really did enjoy it. Um, and it was weird as well, because um, then like people started saying, oh there's a big main like thing to Ascension, which was in the tale Easter Egg. And um, th there was just loads of cool stuff about Ascension, specifically like the BO1 version, and just to let you guys know, I know I'm not playing the BO1 version, uh, we are playing the BO3 version, uh, just due to the fact that uh, my BO1 version for some Black X1 maps are completely fucked, so I actually can't play Ascension for BO1, but um, apart from that, all I can do is call the dead, that's it, so just a quick heads up there before anyone says anything. And we'll be mainly talking about the B1 version, but we can talk about the B3 version as well. Um, but when it comes to Ascension, it is a, like, it's really, really fun. I can go for high runs on this map. I see people go for high runs on this map a lot. When it comes to, like, there's different strategies, like, you can stay in your attack upon. 
and it was just really really cool. I mean, like I saw the thunder gun coming back and stuff, and I was honestly really really hyped for the map. And then I saw like the monkeys and stuff, and like I didn't know what they could do, but um, I thought they would just be like harder to hit, which they are. Don't get into it, but I never knew they'd steal the perks. I find that really annoying. Um, but at the end of the day, I just really found Ascension fun. Just a chill map, not really too big, not really too small. Um, just really, really chill. It's got loads to it, got the main easter egg, brought up stamina from PhD for the first time within the map. Go to the bicycle for the rolls, got the thunder gun back, ray gun, everything. It just felt like a good casual map to play with friends or just simply do anything on it. And that's why I really, really like Ascension for my first personal experience. So. Yeah, that's all I've got to say for the first personal experience of the century. So Caleb, okay, the next question I have for you is the things that you don't necessarily like about Ascension. What are the things that you don't necessarily like about Ascension? You see, I am a firm believer that every zombies map has its has its kinks and also has its quirks. And I believe that Ascension has has a lot of things that are not very good about it, mainly the like, I know everyone and their mother complains about the monkeys, and the monkeys, they're not that bad, just don't turn on power. <laughs> but the monkeys, obviously, they can get quite annoying. The monkeys are, they, they are just, just annoying. There's really no other way to put it, but they're, they're annoying. They're just a nuisance. Mm -hmm. Get in the way. Um, I really wished the rocket had something to do with the Easter egg, and you didn't just click a button. That would have been really cool. I don't know, that's, that's not really like a thing that the map didn't do good. That's really just a wish, but... I mean, there's really not much at this map that... In this map that is bad. Really, the only thing that people really... Like, the only thing I really hear about people saying is... The map is close quarters, which I don't believe that at all. And also, the monkeys. Those are the only two... Those are really the only two things I can hear people complain about it. Also, the swinging dildo in the spawn room. That That's that's quite annoying as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> other than that, I, I really don't see what people can say. Because this map, again, like what you said, it's like it's like the Goldilocks. It's not too big, not too small. It's just perfect. Like, there's so many good zones that you can train. So there's not just not just up here by PhD or Widow's Wine. You can also train down by Rocket. You can also train over in the stand-up area. Like, there's so many great like training areas and... You know, again, like you said, it's the first map that included uh, an Easter egg. You're not dead, just done. So how long was that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just start off again. So, like you said, like, I never heard, oh like... Oh my god. I've never, ever heard people oh. complain about it being too, like, too tight cornered. I've never, ever heard that before. I'm surprised people don't even say that about a set for Rock anymore. Um... If people say that about Ascension, which I don't have a problem if you do, um, but Ascension, like you said, does have a lot of training areas. Like people mostly train at Spawn now, and like back in B One, I saw people train at Pack a Punch or even like the Widow's Wine slash PhD area. There is like loads of good areas to train at, and it's honestly like really, really cool. Like if you were doing a Storm Room challenge, like that was like one of the things like to do. Like it's just a good starting room. To train in, just the only problem, and obviously, is the machine. And obviously, the fact that, um, like, people mainly train by the Lunar Lander that's in spawn, not like with the big area with the machine in the middle, just round about near of where the Lunar Lander is, so you are right about that. Um, but I find, like, I don't necessarily like about Ascension, it's like, I think it is quite obvious the monkeys, but yet again, you can't, you just need to not turn on power. If you're talking about BO1, not turn on power, yeah, that's true. You obviously do need to turn on power due to the two hit system and just needing perks. Uh, but for BO3 wise, you really do not need to turn on power. As long as you have good gobblegums, you're in good shape. Um, my other problem with Ascension is like, I don't see this as a bad thing, but like, cause I am mainly a solo player, like I've been playing co-op uh, most of the time. Um, with, uh, ever since, like, I met Caleb and Zazu and stuff, I've been playing more with those guys. Um, it's, like, a four-player easter egg. The fact that it's a four-player easter egg, I don't see it as a bad thing. It obviously gives you, like, a purpose to play with more people and co-op. And that's a good thing that you can play co-op, because you can see different perspectives and how you do in a team and stuff, maybe, if you're ever in a competition or something. Um... But as for Ascension, it's like, I would definitely change, uh, like, it not being a four-player easter egg. Like, that's what I'd personally do. Again, like, I know there's, like, PC... 
Okay. I <laughs> I know there's PC mods within um what's it called? I know there's PC mods within Black Ops 3 and BO1 where you could do it solo, that's definitely true. But for people who don't have B1 on PC or Black Ops 3 on PC, then yeah, there's a catch there. So but apart from that, that's really I don't have a problem with it being a four player Easter egg, it's just like it would be nice to do it solo, like if you really didn't want to do the Ascension or Shangri-La Easter egg, but you never had any people to play with. So yeah, it's not I hate it, it's just that's just something that I would prefer. So now we're going to say the things that we like about Ascension, so Caleb I bet you have a lot of things to say about Ascension, like what you like and stuff. You know, I kind of mentioned this back when I was saying things I don't like about it. Like there's really not much that there's not good with this map. Like again, like you could say the monkeys are stuff that you don't like, but things that you like, like everything else, like the flow fits so well with this map. The po the power just su it's the power is super easy to get. It's not like you have to do an entire quest to just turn on power. Um, the pack a punch. So I think this is like I remember back in the day, shooting off the rocket to get power or pack punch was one of the coolest things in the game. Also, like, shooting the ray gun to blow up the rocket was one of the coolest things I can remember back in Ascension. Like, being able... Because back in the day, all we had was uh, Noctrucked, uh, Sh uh, Shinonuma, and Doris, Kino, and Five. It was Call of the Dead before Ascension? I'm pretty sure Ascension was before Call of the Dead. Uh, Ascension was before Call of the Dead, yeah. Yeah, so we only had those maps, and really... There's really nothing like power and Kino. All you had to do is open the door, power and pack punch and Kino. All you had to do is teleport. I think this was like the coolest, most innovative way to activate pack punch, having to activate three things, and then shooting off a rocket into the sky and being able to unlock pack punch was one of the coolest things back in the day. Mm -hmm. Also, the water landers is kind of like, is like, it's not like transit. I like to say like, like how can I, how I kind of see it is like. People hated transit because you needed to use the bus to get around the map. Uh, I see Ascension as like kind of like a better transit to where you don't have to use the Lunar Landers to get around, but they are really helpful for if you need to get around. And the Lunar Landers are just a really cool way to just kind of fast travel around the map and you know save a buddy that's about to die or not. And just a cool way, cool innovation to add into the actual zombies mode itself. Also, I'm pretty sure this map, correct me if I'm wrong, other than the Flogger was to introduce the fire trap um, right here, the fire trap, and that was, that was, I know, back in the day, again, I say, I'm say i saying back in the day a lot, but I remember that was like a big thing back in the day, and <laughs> I was like, no, I about it, we see traps that are like that, that are way more cooler than that every mm -hmm. day, I just remember people, uh, I remember watching YouTube videos of Ascension, people were like, oh man, there's a cool fire trap over here, like, you know, it's, it's whatever, it's just a fire trap, not to us. But also in like the Black Ops 3 version, taking out PhD was not my ma most favorite thing, but I feel like Widows does kind of feel better on this map because Widows is a lot more safer and a lot more, you know. I know people like PhD is really cool because you can neglect damage with, you know, you can neglect blast damage, but there's really nothing to neglect other than grenades or the ray gun or the XM. There's really no, other than that, no really blast damage. Well, and the Mustang mm -hmm. But there's really no need for PhD on Black Ops 3. So that's why I'm kind of glad they added Widows, because Widows is a lot more helpful and flows a lot more better with the BO3 mechanic-wise. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm kind of glad with that. And I guess you can say, I know everyone hates them, but the monkeys are also one of my favorite things on this map. Because what? it's different. It makes you, uh, it implies risk. It implies you just not, bl not blankly just going and buying perks. It actually requires you to actually think about what you're doing, thinking about the perks you get thinking about what perks you want to guard, thinking about what perks you want your team to guard. It requires a lot more teamwork and a lot more team skill, you could say. And just, it, it honestly, it pushes you to actually not just sit there in a corner and shoot zombies and then in the dog round, then you get a max ammo at the end of the dog round. And if you protect the from the monkeys, you get you get a free perk. So I thought that was also a really, really cool way to add a way, uh, add a way to get a free perk. And I'm pretty sure, correct me or wrong, again, uh, this is the first map that you can actually get a free perk from that. So, it's really... Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure you're right. And I think you're right about the fire trap. I keep... To the actual game that if it wasn't introduced into this game, probably wouldn't see it today. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure you are right about the free perk thing, and I'm pretty sure you're right about the fire trap. I keep thinking Doris for some reason, but 
I am pretty sure they're, this is the first map with a fire trap. Um, yeah, there is a lot to like in this map, like you did say. Um, definitely, like, the, like, shooting a rocket to, like, sh like, just make it explode and stuff, that was very fucking cool. Um, I'm just, the Gersh devices fam, just something about the Gersh devices I, like, really like. And they are honestly really, really cool. Um, there is really nothing bad I can say about Ascension as well, like, and the, uh, this is what, uh, was happening when, like, we were doing with Arot, like, cause it, it was, like, just... A simple, it's just simple. It's just nothing too bad, nothing too good. It's just, yeah, it's just there. It's not a bad map at all. Um, what else? I do like your transit like uh, input there, like how you feel like you need to ride uh, the bus. Uh, in like Ascension, you don't necessarily need to ride the Lunar Landers. Like, you do like to get pack bonds, but apart from that, you don't necessarily need to keep riding the Lunar Landers over and over and over again. Um, and I think the Lunar Landers are definitely probably one of the coolest ways of transportation. Like, I know there's the Dragon and stuff in Gorak Rovi, but um, apart from that, I definitely say Ascension is one of the coolest ideas for transformation. Like, the Lunar Landers, like, the way the Lunar Landers are shaped and stuff is literally, like, Ghost of Ices. It's just cool, man. I just really find the Lunar Landers are definitely just one of the best things for, like, transportation and stuff. Like, if anyone done, like, a top five ways of transportation in zombies, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Ascension was up there, definitely. Um, I do like the Easter egg, uh, but again, just with it being four player, um, that's, uh, it's not really an issue, it's just, like, if you don't have anyone to play with, then it's, you're kind of, uh, screwed. Um, but apart from that, I do like the Easter egg. Um, it's definitely a fun map to play with friends. Going fire ends on this map is definitely fun, in my opinion. And, yeah, apart from that, again, there's just, there's just, like, again, Ascension's just that map, in my opinion, as Tim Hansen would say about Classified, just that map, because, um, there's really nothing bad or good that I can say about Ascension, really, um, and, like, like you said about the monkeys, and probably, I thought your monkey point was really, really good, because you're probably one of the first and only people to say that, Caleb, um, but I definitely do agree with that, it, brought, it brings in risk, brings in uh, like what you need to think about, what you're about to do and stuff, I definitely agree with that all the way. So if anything Caleb, if there was anything to add, so basically the map would stay the same for the whole way through, but you'd add something different like a new room and stuff, or you change the map a bit, would you? Like what would you like to add or change to the map? Add a double tap machine. Honestly, this map is perfect in itself I'd say the only thing I mean again like I said earlier like a feature that would be cool to add like if you could ride the rocket that'd be pretty sick like go to a new location in the rocket or something like that I don't know that would be pretty sick but I feel like back then that probably wouldn't make a lot of sense and it probably not flow well with the map that, mm. that that's really all I have to say is just add a double tap machine <laughs> you have no many times you have no many times how many times in Black Ops 1, even though Double Tap's kind of useless in Black Ops 1, where I've been looking for that bitch and I forgot that it doesn't have it? Yeah, honestly, um, I definitely agree with that. I'd personally add on a Double Tap machine uh, when it comes to the BO1 version, because, again, lads, there's no Double Tap uh, in BO1. Um, it's in BO3, yeah, but it's not in Black Ops 1, uh, Ascension. Um, I definitely add a Double Tap machine in, like you said, with the rocket. Like, you know where, like, there's some, like, stairs going up to the rocket bits and stuff? I find it really cool, like, if there was a way to, like, bring down the rocket and stuff, like, and then you could just go inside it, like, maybe you're not even supposed to, like, launch it or whatever, you just, like, go back down or whatever. Or they could do an Origins where, you like, like Origins did, you go inside the robot and then you fly out. What if they did that with Ascension where you fly, you don't press square within the power room to launch the rocket, you have to physically go inside the rocket, then you launch it, and then like it gives you like 20 seconds to leave or it'll kick you out, and then you'll be kicked out and then you'll be flying from the sky and then you'll land down safely. I think that would be a crazy idea, I would definitely be on board for Ascension for that. Like, I don't know man, just... Something about that rocket is just really, really cool. And honestly, I definitely say it's just more interesting than the Horizon Drax rocket. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but the rocket in Ascension is just really special. And I just don't know why I'm a Burdo. Um, but 
yeah, like I said, I just doing something with the rocket would be definitely really, really cool to see. So Caleb, I'm gonna guess that you're not a storyline person here, but if there is any storyline that you do know about Ascension, would you like to give your thoughts about the storyline? I could tell you the whole storyline behind Dead of the Night. <laughs> really, there's not much that I know, all I know is a yeah. Please, you must help me. She's coming. The mechanism must be repaired. <laughs> Buddy Groff gets clapped. Buddy but Groff. Other than that, I never really took the time to listen to the radios in Ascension. I'm not a hu I never used to be a huge storyline guy. I kind of just started getting into storyline stuff. Like, you know, me and uh, me and Buddy Zaz, we got a nice, nice video coming out very, very soon. There you go, lads. That's it's my first ever time actually digging deep into a storyline. And it's not the Ether storyline, let me tell you that for sure. Oh. But it's the first time we actually dug deep into a storyline and we actually like studied and listened to radios. And Holy crap, this actually makes me, like the video that I'm doing, it makes me really want to actually listen to like other maps radios and like go like behind the story between other maps because I've never really done that. I always just kind of watch those storyline videos and those never really include like radios or stuff like that. They always just kind of read off the Cronorium that Mr. Rough Waffles and his group made. Mm -hmm. And I never really, like, read the radios, but, like, after listening to some radios and some of the uh, newer maps, it, like, everything clicks. It's weird. Everything, like, comes together and clicks. It's, like, it makes me want to actually learn more about storyline with more maps. Like, it makes me want to learn. Like, I don't know if there are there eight IW radios. I don't even, um, I don't even know. Um, so, the NIW, like, in Raven the Redwoods, like, you know how there's, like, 500,000 stuff to collect? It's, like... Mm -hmm. A golden shovel and stuff like I'm pretty sure if you pick those stuff up and do those quests for those items, you hear quotes of backstories specifically like from that map or like some stuff about Willard Weiler and stuff. So right. I'm pretty sure there's stuff about that. That's interesting because like, like, like I can give a little thing about what me and Zaza are doing, but like we were listening to some of the nine radios for, for, oh. Black, Ops 4, for Black Ops 4. And I don't think most people know this. I, I didn't know this for sure. This is my first time ever hearing about this. And was, I'm pretty sure it was Ozzy's first time ever hearing about this. But our four characters, uh, Stan and Shaw, Bruna, Delacroix, um, um, Diego Nicali, and Scarlet Rhodes, they were not the first people there. Mm. They, weren't, they weren't the first people to get, you know, tricked by the Oracle. They weren't the first people. And there, there are some, they're not really radios, but they're like pots on the ground that, that give quotes. But it's like, some of them talk about like how this dude like sacrificed his friend to appease the gods and it's super duper interesting because you know they don't the four gods don't like sacrifice that's not that's druidism and that's from uh that goes more into dead of the night but um it's it's super duper interesting to actually like read into and like look into so i'm super excited to make that but it's like makes me really want to actually look into more radios for the ether maps and like you know connect the dots myself Wow, okay, that's really, really interesting there. So, lads, there you go. If you want to check that out, then stay tuned for Caleb and Zazu's show. Or even, like, Zazu's link um, in the description below. Make sure to check that out, lads. For storyline-wise, like, I know how they came to Ascension. Um, they came from Kino to Ascension, but as of how, there is um, a Lunar Lander behind uh, Kino and uh, the Ultimus crew, which we obviously don't see it within the game, but within the storyline, uh, the Cronorium thing, um, they do explain that uh, Ultimus, aka our characters that we play in Ascension and Kino and stuff, um, they make their way f using the Lunar Lander, uh, coming all the way from Kino right. to Ascension. And then, as that. as of how they got to Shang, I don't know. Again, I'm not a storyline person, but hey, we, we got some storyline out of that one. Um, I, I think that's like that's the one thing that's like never been explained because we don't know if it's not like have it, has it do, is it on Mars? I don't even fucking know. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it is it on Mars? Is it on Mars? Like, like I like I actually genuinely don't know. <laughs> like, like there's a lot of people like, did you actually think it's on Mars? And there's people like, yeah, duh, it's on Mars. It's been confirmed. I'm like, bro, I just don't know. Yeah, there are those days where I'm like, yeah, it's got to be on Mars because like with Tag to Tone, we know Mars is some is like an actual thing within the storyline. We just don't know if it's got to do with Shine. But yeah, again. When you go into the secret easter egg with Intag and you see Mars, it plays the Shangri-La load and screen music. So, I, 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 it's a possibility, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm just saying it's a possibility. So, right, Caleb, right, right. if, would you be okay if Ascension came back as a remaster where everything comes back but it's just 
full on like beautiful with graphics and stuff or now let, let me let me stop you there are you meaning like remaster or like Re remaster remake? or remake you oh can, you can say you they can remade this map you know how pissed i'm gonna be <laughs> They ruined Call of the Dead. I never really liked Call of the Dead in the first place, but they made it worse. And they ruined Blood of the or they ruined Mob of the Dead. They better not touch my baby. <laughs> they are gonna add the most unnecessary, most stupid things to this map. They're gonna make monkeys five times powerful. Oh my god, no. I they will not touch my baby Ascension. They shall not touch and like Literally, like, there's, like, again, like, Ascension, this map is a good, bad map. There's really not, there's, like, not much you can say about it. It's not good, it's not bad. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. And if they remade it, they're gonna, they're gonna do something to itch at one side. They're gonna make it bigger, and then, then, then the map's gonna be way too big, and then it's not gonna be perfect, because it's gonna be too big. Or, they're gonna make it just the same, and they're gonna add a bunch of unnecessary, stupid crap. And just, this map does not fit well in, like, if it was, like, a BO4, if if it was, like, remade, but it was, like, BO3 mechanics, BO3 graphics, I think that would be alright. I think I'd be fine with that. But if it was remade and it was BO4 mechanics and BO4 graphics, I would just be so mad. I'd be pissed. Interesting. I wouldn't want to see it come back as a remaster, so it'd come back, but with beautiful graphics. But as for a remake... If anything, like you said, I wouldn't want them to change much. If anything, they I want them to do something with the monkeys that wouldn't make it so annoying. Because that's what they did with the Winter Silver thing classified. Winter Silver wasn't the best in BO1, but with classified, they made it like buffer and good. Um, I would say I wouldn't want to see either. I don't want to see it remastered. I don't want to see it remade. <laughs> like, I just want it to be, you know, BO3 was perfect. BO3 looks beautiful. The Easter egg is, you know, fixed. The glitches were in the, BO in the Easter egg were fixed. It's just perfect the other way it is in BO3. There's no need to remake it at all. Hmm. Yeah, because I wouldn't might. Yeah, I wouldn't want a remake personally, but if they did, I definitely want them to do a big change with the monkeys to make them not as annoying. I wouldn't want the Ultimus crew to come back if that was the case. Oh, and yeah, if anything, I'd want them to do something with the rocket. Like, either you can physically go inside it, not just launch it, and there you go. Like, you can explore it. Like, that's what I'd feel if I, like, if a remake did come back. I wouldn't personally you know mind. You know what's going to happen if they remake it, right? You know how in Blood of the Dead they did nothing with the Golden Gate Bridge? The rocket just going to stand still. <laughs> it's you know, just going to stand it. still. It's just, it's just going to be there. You can't do nothing with it. That's how BO4 works. <laughs> But this isn't BO4, King. BO4 cycle has ended. BO4 can go suck a nut. <laughs> <laughs> so, Caleb, we are right now got two minutes. Out of ten, well, what would you rate Ascension and your reason Eleven. why? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. No, wait, wait, are you being serious? I mean, 100% serious. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> The only thing wrong about Ascension, and it's the only thing wrong that anyone could even say, is the monkey. That's literally the only thing that's wrong with Ascension. You know how you can fix that? Put on Perkaholic, put on uh, Immolation, and put on Great Power, and there you go. You got your sub, you don't even need to try. You got your sub, don't need to worry about monkeys, don't need to worry about... And like a BO1, like, you know, you can't do that. You know, it still doesn't matter. Like, monkeys, monkeys, they create strategy, they create worry. They create risk. You know, that they're, they're not bad. It's just, it's, like, this map, literally perfect. Story-wise, maybe not, but you do also have to remember this is the first map that actually included an Easter egg. Yeah, I mean, Easter So, egg. if, if, if it had this, if Ascension came out in BO3, then the story would be, would be terrible because, you know, BO3 would have had such story, and then, like, say, like, this was the story in BO3, that would be quite disappointing. But since this is the first map to really like introduce a storyline wise Easter egg in the map, then like we gotta cut it some stuff. Yeah, yeah definitely. So like, at the time they didn't even know Easter eggs was gonna be like I mean, a genuine thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, let's just throw in a little thing to see if people find it. And they're like, oh, the people loved it. Let's keep doing them. Ascension really got the ball rolling for that and it really was like yeah they love these easter eggs let's keep doing them like that's why 
the Easter egg isn't super big, complex, no boss fights, mainly because they didn't want it to be, because it was their first map that they really, you know, it was their first map they really pushed out to have. So that is the 30 minute timer. Um, I am going to give my personal um, something out of 10 on Ascension before anything and a reason why. Um, the reason uh, I like Ascension, there's nothing really bad I can say about Ascension, like you said, not bad, not good, it's just, uh-huh. Um, but if anything, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10, and I basically just gave my reason before I said 7 out of 10 now. Um, but the main reason being is just because, like, I'm a weird person, and there's just more zombies maps out there that I do like more than Ascension. Um, but I'm a sucker for all zombies maps, I don't hate any zombies maps at all, that even includes World War 2 zombies. Um, I like, personally, all the zombie maps. Um, and Ascension was really, really interesting, and again, like, it, lads, without Ascension, East, Easter eggs for days wouldn't be a thing. Like, Ascension was the first map to bring a main Easter egg, and it was honestly really, really cool. So yeah, there's really not much I can say about Ascension apart from the fact that it's a 7 out of 10, it's a chill map for high rounds, solo and co-op, and I really like the Lunalanders, Gersh Devices, Petrushkas, it, it's, it's just a map, it's just a good old casual map to play with friends on and such. So yeah, that's why I give Ascension a 7 out of 10, and Caleb gives a 11 out of 10. But yeah guys, so I'm going to end the video here. Caleb, thank you for coming on for episode 8 of Zombies Replay. And guys, again, go check out Caleb in the link in the description below. Has a zombie storyline video coming out. And I will link Zazu's link in the description below, because he is collaborating with Caleb for that. So go check out Zazu as well. But uh, anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Next episode will be on Call of the Dead. And uh, let me know if you guys do want to see any more Call of Duty Zombies YouTubers in the, t in the comment section down below. Thanks guys, thanks so much for watching. Caleb, thank you for hopping on. Make sure to do... to oh, uh, <laughs> Make sure to do go check out Caleb in the description below and keep out for his storyline video because that sounds sick as fuck by the way. Thanks guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video live stream boys. And goodbye!